Greetings fellow members of the Esoteric Order of Gamers. A very exciting day today because Gale Force 9 have sent me this fantastic pack of Aliens goodies. And anyone who knows me on the Esoteric Order of Gamers knows that I'm a huge Aliens fan. I've been hanging out for this game for quite a while. Um, there's been a few delays but wonderfully it is here. Another glorious day in the core. This is the core set for the Aliens game. And we also have Get Away From Her, You Bit. Well, let's go crazy. We're all adults here. Get Away From Her, You Bitch. Yes, it's the expansion. Here it is. Lots of extra stuff, including the Queen Alien. Fantastic stuff. And the, uh, um, what do you call this? Load right there. It's a power loader. Yes, Ripley and a power loader. Wonderful. More tiles. That's an expansion. We've got another one here called Ultimate Badasses. And that has some more miniatures in it and character cards and things. And then finally, the Assets and Hazards, which gives you some crates and some face huggers and some eggs and some computer terminals and some guns, remote guns. Wonderful. I'm so excited about this uh, game because I just love aliens. I've got the um, AVP game. I've got Lifeform. I've got Nemesis. Anything that's vaguely aliens, I grab it. This one is licensed, of course, for the second film in the series. And uh, I believe there's going to be more stuff in the way. I don't know. But in the meantime, let's check out what we've got here. Starting with the core set. Another glorious day in the core. Okay, let's unwrap it. Now, this is a cooperative strategy game. It's set up for uh, one to six players. And goes for one to two hours, according to the box. Ooh, I'm so excited. I love aliens. Okay, we've got the rule book. Now, of course, it goes without saying. You've seen many of these videos now, and I always say, and I always do, I always create a rule summary and reference for every game in my collection, and aliens will be no exception. I'll be working on that as soon as possible. Of course, it's the Christmas period. We're just entering into the holiday season, so I'm going to take a few days off. But um, probably during those days when I should be relaxing, I'll probably be working on this because it's so much fun. Here's our rule book. Lots and lots of illustrations and diagrams, full colour. Very nice looking indeed. That looks great, but I'm sure I can get it all down to just a few pages as I always do. There's a quick reference on the back. So, we have uh, what looks to be some mission sheets here. Oh, excellent, different missions, how exciting. Mission 1, Newt. And look, there's all the information for setting up this mission. This is great, I'm really pleased to see that there's separate scenarios and uh, they can really explore all the different things that happened in the movie. Survive. There's a rescue mission, a supply mission. These ones are probably a little bit more generic. Hadley's Hope, of course, which is the um, installation where all the action takes place in the Aliens film. Atmosphere Processing Plant. Mm, I wonder if you'll have to uh, collect all your magazines and not shoot. Don't want to blow up the atmosphere processing plant. Outpost Alpha 116. And Supply Depot. Well, lots of variety there. Um, lots of information about each scenario. Looks very exciting. Now, excuse me, you know I rave on my unboxings. Um, and I, because this is Aliens, I'm just going to be raving any, even more. So, excuse my excitement. Unboxings, when I do them, they're all about that initial rush of excitement I get when I open a game. I'll be telling you more about it as I get to play it. And I'm also going to be doing a battle report of this game. So, be, you'll be able to see how it plays and all the details. But this is the, this is the fun of first opening it up. So, there's an assembly guide. There's a bit of assembly involved in the miniatures. That's how you put the aliens together. They're multi-part models. So... Um, should be relatively easy. Um, of course, I've been doing this for a long time, so I find it very easy. If it's your first time, don't worry. I'll be giving you some advice on putting them together and painting them. Here we have some counter sheets. And 
Looks nice, love the colours, all very dark and scary. Looks like we have some number trackers there. Remote sentry weapon system, it's got a nice countdown. And here are all our classic characters, Ripley. And I don't know if you know, but our cat is named Ripley after this wonderful character. Dwayne Hicks. And Hudson, of course. Game over, man! Got Vasquez. Gorman. Gee, Gorman. And Rico. Oh, there's the back of those. And the back of those. And of course, Newt, who I don't think the actress went on to do any more acting, but wasn't she fantastic in this film? She was just perfect. Another tracker there. That looks like a sort of card tracking area. And now we've got some lovely tiles. And they look nice, a nice matte finish. Artwork looks good. They're double sided, which is great. This looks like the atmosphere processing plant where all the uh, alien hive material has infiltrated. There's another tile. These look great. I mean, you know, the, the visual look of everything is just on point. It just matches the aliens' films. Looks like they've done a nice job there. And also a nice clear delineation of walls and areas, which is always handy. Sometimes the artwork takes over a bit and you, you know you can actually keep track of where the areas are, but they're nice and clear on this without sacrificing the art. Oh look, an insert. That's good, a plastic insert down the bottom. Here are our miniatures. I'll have a closer look at those in a moment. These are the plastic nubs, of course, for those uh, number trackers. We've got some dice. Looks like ten-sided dice with a star on them for the... What is it? For the one spot, I think. And a six-sided die. And some cards. Let's have a look at these. Right, these are our card decks. And here we have 60 Endurance cards. And as you can see, lots of uh, stills from the movie. Body armor, flares, all your equipment, some general cards too, look sharp, there are vents. It's really right, man, look! <laughs> oh, there is going to be so many quotes as we play this game. We got knives, we got sharp sticks. <laughs> Do it fast. Keep moving, baby. Uh, classic. Stop your grinning and drop your linen. <laughs> We're in the pipe, five by five. Uh, really, they just don't write scripts like this anymore. There are so many wonderful quotes from this movie. What a classic it is. Next up, there are 42 motion tracker cards. And here are the beasties. Alien scouts. Alien vanguard. Oops. Alien lurkers. Ugh. Relentless horde. Yep. Oh, false alarm. Phew! Drones. Yep, it's going to get messy. They're inside the perimeter! They're coming! Ah, oh, and my favourite quote. They mostly come out at night. Mostly. Ugh. That is one quote that is constantly repeated in this house, even just the mostly bit. Whenever anyone says in this house, um, yeah, you usually do that, and someone always goes, mostly. And finally, some reference cards, play reference cards. And last up in the core set, we've got the miniatures, and they come on a sprue. So, as I said, you've got to do a little bit of uh, putting them together. Um, I quite like this. You've got the actual names of the characters on the bases. So that helps in recognising them. And apart from that, just a sort of generic uh, sparse spaceship grill texture for the base. And here are the miniatures. 
Uh, they're in sort of classic 28 millimeter scale, not heroic miniatures, but definitely do the job. Here's Newt. And of course, I'll be doing a tutorial on putting these together and painting them so you can do them quickly and easily and still get great results. That looks like Vasquez there. And I'll be working on that over the holidays. There's Vasquez's smart gun. Nice. As for the uh, aliens, we've got four sprues, which all look to be the same. As you can see, the aliens come in a nice black color. So, you know, you don't even really have to paint them if you don't feel like painting. But I will be showing you how to paint these. I'm going to use a similar technique to the ones I used painting the Nemesis miniatures, which is a sort of metallic black kind of look with a glossy head. And um, I used that for Nemesis to make it look as much like Alien as I could. And of course now I've got the aliens themselves, so I'll be using the same technique. They look suitably creepy. Well, that's what you get in another glorious day in the core, the base game for Aliens. So, looks great. Uh, the miniatures look good. All the artwork's lovely. Good quality components. And hardly wait to get it on the table. But let's not stop there. Let's move on to... Get away from me, you bitch! Yep, this is the expansion. Um, it looks fantastic. It looks like we've got some larger miniatures here and some more tiles. Why don't we check it out? Oh, I'm just in alien heaven here. I can't think of, of a better way than spending the morning than unboxing this new aliens game. Here's our expansion rules. Isn't it funny that they had to block out bitch? I wouldn't have thought bitch was that harsh a word. Is it for some? I don't know. It's funny. So here are our rules. Uh, we've got the power loader, the alien queen, moving large models, playing as the alien hive. You can, oh, one person can play the hive. Oh, that's good. I like that. You've got a, a, a competitive element in there as well. That's great. You know, I enjoy cooperative games, but I, I do have a special place in my heart for competitive ones. New characters. We've got Bishop the Synthetic, Enraged Ripley. Great stuff. There's the rules. Assembly guides, putting together the Alien Queen and putting together the Power Loader, which is quite a few pieces and other characters. And it looks like we've got some missions and they're even bigger this time. Mission 1, Newt. There are all the rules. Oh, there's going to be a lot of great games here. So looking forward to it. That was Escape. This one is Survive. Retrieve. Uh, nothing a flamethrower won't fix. The Sulaco. So this is back on the ship. This must be with the power loader and um, the Alien Queen. Great stuff. APC ch chase. So um, you get the vehicle out and do that um, chase sequence. That looks fun. Queen Hunt. Queen's Gambit. It's really bringing to life everything from the film and more. The barracks. These are bug hunt scenarios, it looks like. Separated. Gee, heaps of scenarios. Evacuation. Wonderful. Then we have more counters and more characters. An enraged Ripley. Bishop the Android. More pieces. And it uh, looks like uh, number trackers there as well. There's the outer airlock. There's the APC. That's a nice big counter. And then we've got lovely tiles. 
This really expands all the options, doesn't it? Looks like a must-have expansion. That looks like the platform where Ripley and Newt got picked up from at the end of the film. Nice big spaces here, which is good to see because you can have those bigger miniatures. And uh, talking about miniatures, here they are. A lovely big base for the power loader. Here are all the pieces for that. Detail looks nice. There's Bishop. And there's Bishop cut in half. <laughs> that is a great miniature. I love that one. It's going to be a lot of fun painting these. And that'd be Ripley carrying Newt there. That look great. Here's the Fantastic Queen, another huge base. Oh, look, there's her head. Really looking forward to putting this one together. Big tail. That looks very impressive. More pieces for the number trackers. And some cards. Some little cards too this time. First up we have 25 more Endurance cards. I'm sure that will all very much come in handy. Do the thing with the knife! <laughs> Not bad for a human. There it is. Get away from you, bitch. Uh, look, uh, you can say bitch on the cards, but not on the box. There you go. I guess if you're going to put it in um, family-friendly family shops, it's uh, a bit disturbing. Face hugger attack. That's a blood. Wonderful stuff. There's a, uh, another reference card. Willpower actions. And some more tracker cards. Motion tracker cards. Queen's Guard. Yes, it gets really nasty now. Queen's Aura. Ugh. Mostly. What do you mean they cut the power? And finally, there are 31 cards called Hive Mind cards with a very disturbing image of an alien on the front. And it looks like some scary alien stuff here. Oh, chest bursters. Yep. Well, it certainly seems to have everything you could possibly want in an Aliens game. Well, that was Get Away From Her, You Bitch, and that looks like an essential expansion. I mean, who doesn't want to play with the Power Loader and the Alien Queen? Got to get that one. But wait, there is more Ultimate Badasses. Let's see what we have in here. It's going to be wall-to-wall -wall aliens this Christmas. We have some more dice. Some more miniatures, more characters. Drake. Uh, yeah, we yeah. Mm -hmm. Where's Bowski? Excuse my pronunciation. Dietrich. Crow. Apone. Apone? Apone? I forget. And of course, Burke. Oh, you slimy bastard. There is, of course, a rule book for the ultimate badasses. So we've got more characters and fire teams and experience cards. So you can play through a campaign as well and get experience. Wonderful. Campaign play. Brilliant. Here are their cards. Sergeant Apone, Apone, I've forgotten how to pronounce that. Um, and Privates. There you go. The poor people who didn't get quite as much time, except for Carter Burke, of course. I don't remember Dietrich, but yep. Something horrible happened to her, no doubt. Assembly Guide in the bottom, and some cards. So I've got 64 uh, experience cards here, and I love how uh, they're set up as a, a dog tag style here. Really nice. And uh, this should certainly um, shake things up. There's obviously there's different types here. There's trackers. We've got uh, company man, tactician, support, leader, hero, 
gunner. Um, and smarts. That no, hold on, there's one more. Support. So a whole variety of different experience cards. This really makes it even more interesting. Sorry, I dropped these, so they're all out of order. I'm available as it. Huh. Well, this is certainly going to make things very interesting. Experience as well. Um, fire teams. Lots of variety here, which is great. I've been reading the uh, Alien RPG as well by Free League Publishing, so I'm really immersed in Alien at the moment. So that looks really good. The Aliens Ultimate Badasses expan expansion, adding an experience system and extra characters. Wow. And then we have one left. Oh, I don't want it to end. I'm having so much fun. It's the Aliens Acids and Hazards set. This has got 34 miniatures in it. And this is just some extra miniatures to enhance the immersion in the game. You've got two sprues. It's nice hard plastic. I can feel straight away it's got a bit of heft to it. Nice and solid. And it looks like we have some really nice crates here with the uh, Wayland Yutani symbol on them. The horrific face hugger, of course. Bases. Uh, some eggs. Always good to have those lurking about to freak you out. Sentry guns. These look really nice. Nice, nice solid plastic. Uh, of course, put those together very easily. Just two-part construction. Lovely, crisp, clean detail on those too. They look very good. You get two sprues of those. I always love having a bit of extra 3D stuff on the board just to increase the atmosphere a bit. So there you have it, two spreads of extras, you know, you could use those in the Alien RPG as well, or for any Alien game, but uh, obviously designed for another glorious day in the core. Well, my friends, you might have detected a slight hint of excitement in my voice as I unboxed all that. I've been waiting for this for a long time, and thank you very much to Gale Force 9 who sent me this stuff to... Uh, review and cover and also mostly to create a rule summary and reference for you which is the thing that I uh, am most known for. So if you haven't seen all those rule summaries and references you're in for a treat because there's over 360 of them at the Esoteric Order of Gamers website. It's at orderofgamers.com. Go and check it out. Go to the versions page where you'll see all of the games laid out for you there and you can download any of them print them out and stick them in your game boxes so you can quickly and easily learn and play any game you've got. Also, uh, please subscribe to this channel. If you haven't already, hit the all notifications button when you do so, so you get a notification of every new video. I'm also on social media. Twitter is where I hang out the most, but I'm also on Facebook. And finally, I've got a Patreon page at patreon.com slash esoteric order. And there's also a feed there of all the stuff that I bring out. And a nice little community of lovely people as well. It only remains for me to say have a wonderful holiday season. I know it's difficult for all of us at the moment. We're very lucky down here in New Zealand. But there are a lot of problems in the world at the moment. And I wish you all the best and health and happiness to yourself and your families. Please take care. Have a good time. Try and get some games in with some family if you can. And um, I'm going to take a little break but I'll be back very early in the new year. And there's going to be lots of alien stuff coming out. That's the first thing I'll be concentrating on. Thank you very much for watching. And thank you very, very much for your support of the Esoteric Order of Gamers. As always, I will be kicking on for, I think, my ninth year of operation in 2021. And it's going to be a beauty. I hope everything improves for everybody next year. All the best. Good gaming. Thanks for watching. See you next time. And remember, the game's not over, man.